Companies are nothing more than people. People create everything inside an organization. And what's going to make us better in the long term is the way that our people think. Keller Williams actually, in all honesty, was kind of a cultural experiment. At the end of the day, I wanted to see if I could build an organization that put people first. So we're sharing income. We now have an open book policy. Then you look up and you realize if they can't make decisions about what they see, they have no influence. So we actually invented the Agent Leadership Council so that people would have a voice. You could see the future. You could clearly see that at the end of the day, there is a finite dollar value that you can put on services that a real estate company provides. It's not unlimited value. And so I came back to Austin and suggested that we put a cap. Here's the funny thing is, the top agents didn't want to cap it. And the reason is because it would cap the money we would be sharing back in the profit share system. And I went, oh my gosh, I'm having to argue with you paying me less money? We need to put a cap on of this at some dollar amount. Otherwise, it's not gonna be an equitable deal. When I joined Keller Williams in 1991, there were less than 500 associates in the company, and yet the Keller Williams model was so relevant for the future of the real estate industry. And it was as though Gary had taken the way that I already thought about the real estate agent and the real estate industry that it was a perfect fit for me to become a member of the Keller Williams family. I knew that Keller Williams was destined for greatness. When Mark was our team leader for the Southwest Market Center, Mark was so amazing and such a terrific leader that it freed me to go work on this thing called Keller Williams Realty and expand it. I chose Keller Williams initially about 24 years ago and as soon as I heard about the economic model and how they were going to share with all the people that helped build the company, I actually said to Mark Willis, this will be the number one company in the world. I chose Keller Williams because of the Y4C2Ts. It was the first time in my life that I'd seen a company actually express their value system and what they believed in on paper. I felt that it was in total alignment with what I thought and what I felt. As I studied culture, one of the things I discovered is one of the key things that, that separates cultures or defines cultures is language. And so I know Keller Williams gets made fun of for its acronyms and all of its wordings and phrases, but that actually is on purpose to create a sense of community and culture. Funny enough, most people just remember uh, the W, win, win, or no deal, and S, succeed through others. And, and everything is in between. And I'm kind of okay with that because at the end of the day, the W and the S absolutely define the Y for CTTs more than, than any of the other words. In the very beginning, Gary had this idea that we had to provide the greatest education to all of our agents. Keller Williams University was created because we saw ourselves as a training and consulting company, thinly disguised as a real estate company. So what Gary wanted to do was he wanted to create an educational system that would evolve all of our agents, not just the ones that we were in touching distance with. And it developed into what our university is today, which I think is the finest real estate education you could get anywhere. Our expansion into Canada in 1999 was a big step for the company. And through that process, we learned a lot. You know, we learned a lot about the agents. We learned about what it takes to be in another culture in another country. So in 2012, we got to take a lot of those lessons and learn from them when we started to expand internationally outside of North America. Back in those days, the phone was being answered Keller Williams International before we even went to Canada. So I think we were paving the way through thinking big and acting bold and aiming high. And it was just a logical extension of who we were to go beyond the U.S. Our competitors were just beating us over the heads with this idea that we were unprofessional because of our productivity, that we didn't understand top producers. So the question was, how do you make Keller Williams fashionable among top producers? And we created over 100 ideas. We came back 
And the next day, we organized and we all voted. And the number one idea was Gary Keller would write a book called The Millionaire Real Estate Agent. Right there in that book, you know, in plain sight was the blueprint and a company that was apparently teaching people what to do, what I was doing. It just took me 16 years the hard way. So once I read that book, then I was really intrigued. I uh, found out a little more and, and met some of the leaders and made a decision pretty quickly that this is where I wanted to be. The beautiful thing about Keller Williams, there's one language and it's MREA. I heard about Katrina in the middle of Masterminds. And based on the news report, I knew there would be total destruction. I want you to know that our leadership team rallied around that call for help, and we raised $5.3 million in less than four months. The idea of Red Day came from a former employer of mine. They had an event called Impact Day where all the employees around the world donated to their local communities. So when I came to Keller Williams, I proposed a similar idea to our Employee Leadership Council. It was quickly adopted. We decided to make it in honor of one of the biggest champions of giving and culture within our Keller Williams family, Mo Anderson. With that, Red Day is always planned the second week in May to coincide with Mo Anderson's birthday. Red Day is a very special day in the life of our company and for me personally. But I believe Red Day is a day where the agents in our company gain more than they give. Because when we give, we receive. Bold Business Objective A Life by Design was written in 2009 to help our agents with mindset, skill, and productivity. 2,913 agents started out and today 55,253 agents have graduated with Bold. They've written 559,706 contracts and they are 176% more productive than other producing agents. At the start of the growth initiative, we were just coming off the ship, back into growth. We really focused our leaders on the activity of appointments. What John Davis and the growth initiative has done is take systems and models and put them into all of our franchises, all of our, our market centers. It's very powerful what happens when you have that type of synergy. And we're seeing it now with this exponential growth that's taking place. The team leaders have done an amazing job of more than doubling their activities since that time. So what we're doing is we're seeing a whole new level of growth activities and that's why we're experiencing phenomenal growth in, in our profitability. When we started planning our expansion outside of North America, at first we came up with a list. Listed all the countries and which ones would be the ideal ones and where should we go first. And then we quickly realized it's not where we go, it's who we find. We launched our first region outside of North America at Family Reunion in 2012 uh, and that happened to be Vietnam. It's not that we targeted Vietnam or decided that that was the best country for Keller Wind. We happened to find a great leader, and he happened to be in Vietnam. Um, that was the first of, of now over a dozen countries that we've expanded to, and more are on the way all the time. The family fund began because our associates in Des Moines were not being paid their full commission, and family watches out for family. And so we made the rallying cry at an inspirational breakfast. And in that breakfast, people donated over $100,000. And we have been able to sustain those associates for a full commission ever since this has happened. In 2013, when we made the announcement that we were number one in the United States in agent count, I mean to tell you, it felt amazing. Our local leaders did an amazing job, are doing an amazing job, and look out for the records that we're gonna shatter here in the years to come. Keller Williams family, because of your success, 2014 was an epic year. We shared over $98 million in profit and growth share. And because of that, we have now hit over $570 million since the inception of the program. 
There's another record that you set this year, and we have a huge announcement to make. In 2014, we're the number one real estate company in the world, and I gotta tell you, it feels amazing. That's historic, we're making history. So when you ask me, if anyone asked me, so how does it feel to be number one? You know, it actually makes me want to go to work. Uh, it's almost like we've just begun, right? Number one and just begun.